This class is all about creativity. It's time for a creativity project to apply what you've learned so far. In this video, we're gonna show you how to continue our creativity project for favorite artist. You've already designed everything but we're going to work on we're going to work on this game screen. So let's actually look at the app. Connect my emulator. So here you can see in the emulator, it is a little bit slow because it's in the emulator. But if I go to games, it says what is the name of this song? That's Diamonds in the Sky. It says correct and then it moves to the next song. That's Needed Me, so this is the video Needed Me. That's this. This is Stay. That's the video. But if I selected something wrong, it says wrong, try again. I can push play song. That's work. This is the picture from work, from the video work. Level on the brain is right here. Obviously that's that one. But I'm going to click something wrong. And you can see it says wrong, try again. It also plays the sound effect. And here, if I play song, wow, wow, we're going to go over how to build the song part of your creativity project, My Favorite Artist. So you can see I'm already here in App Inventor. You should have designed it. You have six different images from the diff six different songs from your favorite artist. You have a button, what song is currently playing. You also need a sound effect correct and a sound effect wrong. Um, and I've given you those different sound effects um, on the class media, which you can download right here. You also need Texas speech and a player to play the song that is currently playing. For the player, if you look at it, it has nothing in it, but we will set that in code. You can see nothing works. None of this stuff works. So let's go ahead and code it. First thing you have to do, let's go to blocks, is let's make a list. And you'll need to make a list for your create performance task exam at the end of the school year. So to make a list, I'm gonna make a variable. I'm gonna pull this out. I'm gonna call it song choice choices. I go to list, I make a list. And I have six things. So I'm gonna click on the little settings icon and add in four more items. I'll fill these in with text boxes. For this, I need to put in the exact song name. I already have them here, so you can see I can click on download and I can just copy this. It's needed me. I need to make sure that I add the last part, .mp3 to it. So .mp3. That way I make sure it's spelled correctly. I'll go down to the next one. Level on the brain. I can do download. I'll copy that so it's spelled exactly the same. Again, I need to see at the end it says .mp3. You might have a wave. That's why you need to make sure that you're checking that. Here's diamonds, download to the computer. Again, I'm gonna right click and copy that so it's spelt exactly the same as it is in the app, .mp3. I have needed me, love on the brain, diamonds. I need work and wild thoughts. Download to computer, I'm gonna copy this. Cancel, oops, .mp3, 
work. Download the computer. Copy this. Cancel. Uh, MP3. And what am I missing? Stay. Download the computer. Copy. And paste. Now, oops, make sure you do MP3. So this is the list of the song files that we have in our app. And we want to play them. And the user is going to have to click which picture this video comes from. So let's first kind of make a procedure to play the song from a playlist. So let's make procedures. And let's call it play song from playlist. And let's do our comments. So number one, we're going to say speak to user and say, what song is this? Number two, what we're going to do is select a song from the current playlist. Number three, we're going to play the song uh, player, player source. So this is what we are doing inside of here. So first thing I want to do is speak to the user. We already have a text to speech. I'm just going to pull this in text. And I'm going to say what song is or select what song is this. And then I want to pull a song from that playlist. Well, I can select randomly, but let's go in order. So I want to start at one, then go to two, then three, then four, then five. So I could do this. First, I need my play artist song. I need to get my source. And I could do this. Let's just show you. Pick a random item from the list. And then I put in song choices. And then I just simply need to play it. So step three is to play that. I'm going to click on play song. I'm going to click on start. So this is the code for it. And I can pick a random song from the list. And let's just test this to show you that it works before I kind of change this one right here. Um, play song button, we can use that. So play song again, I'm gonna pull this out and just call this procedure. Come procedures, here's that. So this should now work. It should pick a random thing and play it. Let's see. Select So you can see it works. It's slow because I'm using the emulator. If you test it on a tablet or a phone, it won't be slow like that. But because I'm using the emulator, it's slow. So it picked Love on the Brain, which was number two. If I click it again, it might pick a different song. That's needed me. It picked the first song. It picked it again. That's Stay. Needed me again. There's Wild Thoughts. There's Stay. There's... So you can see the reason we don't want to do this, it can keep picking randomly. What we want to do is go through all of the songs. So,
So, we don't want it to continue to pick randomly because it's picking the same songs like twice. We want to start at one, go through the list, and then kind of loop back through. In order to do that, we're going to need to know what song are we currently playing. So I'm going to make another variable, and I'm going to call that variable current song number. And obviously, I'm going to start that song number at one. So when it first starts, we want to play this. When we update our song, if somebody selects the correct thing, then we will move to two, and then three, and then four, and then five, and nine. So instead of picking a random song from this, I now want to go back to list, and I want to use select item. And I'm going to go to song choices for my list, and the current song number. So now, if I click on play, it's going to play knee to me, no matter how many times I play. If I go to two, if I change that to two, love on a brain, changes to three. So you can see we're going to use this to make sure we go through the list. So let's start the game when it the screen first launches. I want to start playing a song from a playlist. So I'm going to come back to procedures and pull this in here. So I'm just going to add a comment. When screen launches, play a song. The other thing I want to do is it's talking over the song. So we can fix that. Remember, text to speech has after speaking. So I can pull that out. And really, what I want to do is after it speaks, I want to start the song. So let's see how this works, if this works. So that's what song is this? So that's what song is this? So we like that a little bit better. So it says it, it puts the song in there, but after it's done talking, that way the talking is not going over the song. All right, so now, Let's deal with these. These are all buttons, images at the bottom. So that was needed me. This should be the correct answer. Now you can see we have all these little choices here. I'm just going to pull these out. So these are my six choices that we're going to have from the songs. And what we're going to need to do is, as you probably have thought about, is make a procedure. Because the only thing that's going to change is the song, which is in this list. So the, the position in this song. So 
Needed Me is the first thing in here. So when someone clicks on Needed Me, I'm going to pass the number 1 and see if 1 is equal to the current song number. And if it is, then that means that's the correct answer. So let's go ahead and make a procedure so we can see this. And this is going to be check answer. And again, I'm going to need to pass. And I'm, going to, I'm just going to call this song number. So don't get song number with the current song number. Let's call this users, user choice song number. And let's right click and add our comments in here. So one, we're going to stop the song playing. Two, we want to check if the user choice song number is equal to the current song number. Number three, instead of two, if it is, we're going to play the sound effect score B. We need to update the song to the next song. And C, we're going to use this notifier and say correct. Notifier to show user correct. For three, if user choice incorrect, A, play effect wrong, and B, notifier to show user wrong, try again. So stop playing the music. Step one is very simple. We're going to go to our player. We're going to bring in stop. Number two, check if the song is the correct song number. So the song, let's just show you, for example, Needed Me. Before we code this, the rest of these, let's just set up these. So now I have this procedure, check answer. I'm going to put all these in here. So the song choice for Needed Me, you have to match it. So Needed Me is number one. So here, I'm going to put one. Love on the Brain is two. So I just, I'm going to math. Love on the Brain is two. Diamonds is three. So math. Diamonds is here is three. Wild Thoughts is four. Work is five. Stay. So pretty much one would come here. So user choice is now one. And we're going to check if user choice is equal to the current song number. And if it is, we'll do this stuff. If it's not, we'll do this stuff. So I said if. So you know you're going to need a condition. Go to controls. Pull in my if. I'm going to math. Since I'm comparing numbers, pull in an equal sign. I want to check if my this, my user song choice, is equal to the current song number. If it is, again, we'll do this. If it's not, we'll do this other stuff. So let's do our else, because either it's correct or not. Play effect score. So that is my sound effect correct. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to click on play. Update the song to the next. We are going to do that in a second. We're going to need to make a procedure for that. Update song. So I'm just going to, I'll do that later, but I'm going to pull that in here. Notify the user. Show correct. So we have this little notifier. Notifier is used for pop-up messages and all these type of things. Our user selection. I'm just going to use this one right here. This is a new one. We haven't used this before the school year. Um, so far this school year. So pull in notifier. And I'm going to say, I'm going to show the user correct. So down here is if they got it wrong. I'm going to play the sound effect wrong. That's this. I'm just going to click on play and bring that in. And I want to show the no notifier. You, I want to use the notifier to show the user message that says, 
incorrect. I'm going to go back to show alert. Say wrong. Try again. So that is the code. The only thing is I'm missing is I'm not updating the song. So let's just try this. Play a song. So that's what song is this? So if I press this, it says correct because here one gets passed here is one equal to current song number. Current song number is one. It played this sound. It said update song. I didn't do anything in update song. We'll do that in a second. And it showed correct. So let's just show it again. So that's what song is this? Here's my correct, and you heard the correct sound effect. Let's do it again and see if our wrong sound effect plays. So that's what song is this? Wrong, try again. So that's what song is this? Wrong, try again. So that's what song is this? Wrong, try again. So so that's what song is this? You can see all of these are not working. Just let me show you the last one. So that's what song is this? So the only one that works is that one. So that's what song is this? There you go. So all we're going to do is really work on our update song. And let's add my comment in here. So what we want to do is one update current song number by adding one. Two, make sure song number valid. And three, we want to play the song from the playlist with the new song. So update the current song by adding one. I'm going to mouse over current song. Addition comes from the subject called math. I'm going to get my current song back to math. There. Now to check to check if the song is valid, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So when I get to the sixth song. If I add one, it becomes seven. There's no seventh thing in the list. So when I get to six and it adds one, when it comes here, it's going to make it seven. I want to check if it's greater than this number, put it back to one. So I'm just going to pull in an if statement. I'm going to go back to math. I'm comparing numbers. And I'm going to say if the current song is greater now I just can't say six. Say I add 10 songs or more songs later. I just want to know if it's greater than the length of the list. So I'm going to go to list length of my song choices. So this code right here, when this becomes seven, if the seven is greater than six, what do I want to do? I want to make current song number back to one. Just want to pull from here. Current song number, go to math and make it one. So just to kind of show you this, we're at six. I get it right. It comes here. It says six plus one is seven. Is seven greater than the length of the list? What is the length of the list? One, two, three, four, five, six. So is seven greater than six? Yes, it is. Make the current song number one. So when it becomes seven, it loops it back to one. So it'll come down this and it'll keep looping as they kind of play the game. The last thing inside of update song, it says play song from playlist. Well, we made this procedure over here. I'm just gonna pull in my play song from playlist. And you can see that's another reason why we make procedures. Look, I did this in this one location, but I'm calling it when I start the game, when they press the button song again, also over here, I'm calling this one procedure from three different places. So the code is in one location. Do not repeat yourself, remember? All right, so let's see if update song works. So that's 
So let's what song is this? I know it's this one. So let's what song is this? Love on a Brain, that is this one. So that's what song is this? This Diamonds in the Sky. So that's what song is this? So that's what song is this? That's work, but I'm gonna select, select something wrong. Play again. So that's what song is this? So that's what song is this? That's stay. So that's what song is this? And you can see it started over. So that's what song is this? So you can see, this is your code. The only thing you're missing is this. But we gotta do that. So this is how you make the very easy to make, the very easy song game. So here's your completed creativity project that you need to have. Let's check out here songs. You can see here, I have a scroll arrangement. I go back home, watch videos. You can see I can click on. Now thoughts by DJ Kale featuring Rada Hanna. Then go home. Games. Rada Hanna song game. So that's what song is this? And social media. Rada Hanna social media. Going home. So, go ahead and finish your creativity project. Once you complete this assignment, don't forget to save it and then turn it into your teacher.